What's going on guys? So a while back I made a Harry Potter wand. This thing right here. It uh, features interchangeable lighter cartridges that you can fill with fuel that makes it shoot different colored fire. Ooh. What will he think of next? So yeah, had a lot of fun with this project. Pretty much you just hit a button and then fire shoots out the tip. Um, so this Halloween I actually was Harry Potter because uh, as it turns out, with some Harry Potter glasses, I can be a pretty convincing Harry Potter. And yeah, I already have the wand. You're a wizard, Harry. I wonder if Harry Potter has an otter named Perry. That'd be funny. Perry otter. Perry otter. Makes you think. <laughs> Stupid joke. So that got me thinking, what other projects can I do from Harry Potter? Um, hmm. My dragon eggs currently aren't hatching, so gonna have to be a no for that one. Um, all the owls from my owlery escaped or got eaten. Just kind of a, like a wolf incident, you know, type thing. I don't, I don't want to get into it. But I did think of one thing, and that is the Goblet of Fire. Yes, from the fourth book called the Goblet of Fire. I'm sure all of you Harry Potter fans know way more about this than me, but from my understanding, the Goblet of Fire, actually on Halloween, um, picks contestants for the Tri-Wizard competition. It's this goblet with fire, hence the name, that changes from green fire to red fire and shoots out a little name with uh, the contestant written on it. Because we already know how to create both green and red fire from uh, our Harry Potter wand. So if we can make a goblet that'll do the same thing, I think it'll be a pretty cool project as well. Um, so I've never really done a project like this, so it's gonna be all new to me trying to figure out how to make a goblet, especially on the cheap. It might be a little dangerous too, so if you do attempt to do this, I'm not responsible. Make sure you have all the proper safety and supervision. <clears throat> and yeah, let's make this thing. So uh, first step, let's hit the dollar store. See if we can find some materials on the cheap. So I ended up getting a few pieces of wood, I think like quarter inch by an inch or something like that. Uh, we also got some popsicle sticks, some clay, and uh, we're actually using a paint can for the Goblet of Fire itself. And yeah, this thing's pretty much gonna be held together by hot glue and clay, so uh, seeing that it's gonna be lit on fire already makes this a pretty dangerous project. So uh, I'm gonna refer you to the previous thing, the video's for entertainment. Try it if you want, but also, you know, just watch. I made this thing entirely just off of pictures I found online. Um, so it looks like the goblet sits on a base of like stone. My dimensions were like eight inch cube on the top and a 10 inch cube on the bottom. Uh, because if you'll notice the stone is a little bit slanted, so uh, I pretty much just made a frame out of the wood, uh, glued it together. Yeah, that'll be a rock base. On top of that, it looks like there are some like buildings or something, like kind of like a tower with like uh, different pieces sticking out. Um, so to do this, I kind of made like a star pattern with the popsicle sticks. Uh, made two of those and put one above the other and used some popsicle sticks to uh, glue those in as well. And then from the picture, it looks like that there's another tower above the first tower um, that's slightly smaller but a little bit taller. Kind of like a tower above the rest of the building with like windows looking out all around. So I just kind of made a circle of wood and actually got a, the middle part of used roll of tape, slipped that down on there uh, to kind of bump everything out to simulate sort of like a tower. And then the next part is the goblet. So as I said, we're gonna be making this part out of a paint can. So uh, what I did was I cut the paint can down so we're left with just the bottom slice because we're not going to want a whole paint can full of fuel. Also I put a divider into the paint can um, and this is going to be for our green and red fire. So half of it's going to be green fire, half of it's going to be red fire. And so we can have each fire going individually, cut off the bottom part and also cut off the top part and pretty much just smush the can down so it's a little... Uh, slice. I took the top of the can and cut a semicircle out of it and attached a metal rod to it so you can kind of rotate it. So depending on which side you have it positioned on, either the green fire will be out or switch it over to the red side, the red fire will be out. So that's how we can instantly go from green fire to red fire, just like in the movie. So this is the part we have to be super careful about because uh, this metal is probably going to get pretty warm considering it's on fire. So what I did was I took some foam board and uh, wrapped it around the outside of the can. 
um, and secured it with some wire because uh, if we use hot glue on this part like we have on the rest of the project, it's probably gonna melt and fall over and catch everything on fire. And we also put another piece of foam board on the bottom, so pretty much we just made an insulated metal container uh, with foam all around it so uh, the heat doesn't spread out and melt all the glue and whatever. And then to make it into a goblet shape, I kind of made this like disc out of foam board as well. Really, I honestly don't know how to describe this. Like curved it up and attached it to the uh, paint can um, to give it a nice like goblet shape. Then we stuck that on there and now we have the finished frame. And yes, it looks like complete word that'll get me demonetized. But don't worry, we'll make it look better. So what I did was pretty much just wrap clay around the whole goblet part. And then hit it with a blowtorch because uh, this is heat hardening clay. So yes, the propane torch won't like thoroughly cure it, but it'll make the outside hard enough for us to paint and uh, you know give it kind of some more like rigid support. Also, the clay around the rim I added. As long as it doesn't get too hot, it'll just keep hardening. So uh, it's pretty heat resistant. Just don't leave this thing running for too long. So once we've got the goblet all covered in clay, I actually went around and filled in all the spaces with like either foam board or. Uh, pieces from like cereal boxes, don't mean to flip you off. And on the roof, we threw a little bit of fabric on there um, just to kind of create like some curves. And uh, any small holes we do have, we can either plug up with clay or hot glue. Uh, so then I went around and put clay on the base around where the buildings will go, stuff some clay in there. Again, lightly hit it with a blowtorch, just a little bit of heat. If you leave it on for too long, it will catch on fire. And I will say I told you so, so don't do that. And as for the towers, we used a little bit more foam board and uh, popsicle sticks as well to create some nice towers. Put some clay around there, just pretty much trying to make it look nice. Since we had all the clay on there, now we can go ahead and paint it. So for the base, I actually hit it with some flex seal. Yeah, been 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 liking this stuff recently. Uh, it gives it a really nice texture. So we don't just have like the smooth foam board. Um, and then when we paint it over with a, I did a combination of black paint with uh, silver metallic paint to give us a nice like shimmery rock finish. I think it came out really cool. So I painted all of the places that's supposed to be rock this color, and then I painted the actual goblet part a bronze color for a nice metal finish. And then I painted everything else appropriate colors. Honestly, I was just kind of eyeballing it at this point. Um, I figured I could take my own creative approach. Just added on some more popsicle sticks here, just some glue there. I did some detailing with a Sharpie. I drew in some windows, drew in some patterns on the roof, just to try and make as much variation and tiny details as possible to distract from all the imperfections, and there are a lot of them, on this uh, goblet. But uh, overall, I think we came out with a pretty decent end result, uh, especially for a first time, so uh, here it is. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the goblet of fire. I painted a little bit of bronze here. It's not like that in the movie, I just did that. Um, mainly just to plug myself. The J Laser video logo right here, subliminal message, like and subscribe. No, but to light this on fire, we're gonna need two things, and that is some boric acid, which is found in Roach Killer, and some lithium, which you can get from the Ultimate Lithium Energizer batteries. Pretty much you just rip the batteries apart and remove the lithium piece. acid you just pour the powder directly into one of these containers. Alright guys so this is how to set up the goblet of fire. Um, so in both spaces though you want to put some of this heat antifreeze. Do not get this stuff. Make sure to get the yellow bottle. This stuff uh, has added components that uh, color the fire orange and uh, you won't get the effect. So make sure you get the yellow bottle. Pour a little bit into both sections. So for the green fire we're using some boric acid. As you can see on the active ingredients we have 99% boric acid, mix it up a little bit. And as you can see, if we just light off this popsicle stick, it burns a very nice green color. So we have green on this side, but on the other side, we wanna make it red because uh, the Goblet Fire also has red fire. So we're gonna take our ultimate lithium battery. So you're gonna get a layer of carbon, layer of another metal, I don't know what that is, and a layer of lithium. The lithium is the dark gray one, this one right there. Just gonna rip off and uh, drop a couple pieces into our liquid. You can see it's gonna start smoking a little bit as it dissolves. I literally feel like we're making magic right now. So now we can take our lid and place that on top and that will only allow 
one side to burn at once. Try this out and see if we can just get some red. There we go, that's just the red. We just have red fire right now. And if we want green, all we have to do is switch this thing over to green. Yes! So there you go guys, a green and red goblet of fire. So feel free to use any of the techniques I showed you in this video on your own stuff. Or if you want to just make the goblet part that's easier or just use like the green and red fire techniques on whatever else you want, um, just know you can do that too. But hopefully you learned something from this video, found it entertaining. Um, I'm Perry the Otter, like and subscribe, merch link in the description, and we'll see you in the next video.